Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is part of the corn that I planted the other night. Uh, that I was picking up the rocks, etc, etc, etc. Speaking of rocks, uh, I hope the barking dogs are not picked up too much here. Neighbors' dogs like to bark. But uh, the other night's video, uh, uh, something about the evening, just another day in life or something. I was talking about the two big rocks at the lower end of the field. That's one, and right there is another one. But what I'm doing here, uh, this corn has been planted about 48 hours. And there comes Levi. He's fine, though. He's not running over it. But uh, it's been planted about 48 hours, and I'm just going to see if it germinated yet. This is a variety I've never grown before, so we'll, uh, let's check on that right quick and see what it looks like. And uh, But today's video is going to be about a piece of equipment that I've had some questions about, and we'll get to that here in just a minute, but first I want to see if we can find any of this corn and see if it's germinating. So... And sometimes you just have to dig for it. And of course I can't find them when I'm looking for it. I don't see any. I know it's in there. Oh well. I guess we don't know if it's germinating or not. No big deal. It should be up in a day or two. Uh, sometimes I just get curious. But I'm going to grab Skippy the bottle of cash some water here. And then uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about a piece of specialized equipment we use quite a bit. So hang on. Okay, this is our plastic mulch layer, uh, bed shaper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we call it a little bit of everything. Uh, this is a guy farm with piece of equipment that we use. But anyhow, the way this thing works is, and it's fixing the rain of course, is this front here forms a bed and it's a raised bed it's two or three inches tall and then your plastic mulch on a roll lays between these two rollers goes down underneath these this roller and these pneumatic tires hold it in place and these coulters are turned over and actually cover the plastic and then you put your drip tape here and then run it down through this pipe and out the center of the bed So, and the reason I'm going to talk about this, I've done other videos on it, it using a little bit, but this is kind of a review. This is a, uh, there's several different brands make these, there's all shapes, forms, sizes, whatever. But for a small operation, the simplicity, how simple it is, and how well it works, I love this thing. I've used a lot more expensive machines bigger machines, a lot more pricey machines, a lot more complicated machines uh, that were supposed to do more, better, the whole bit. This one, it, it does an amazing job. It's very rarely that once you go to the field and do the initial adjustment on this with your three-point hitch that you have to do any more adjusting. They are center bed fillers. They go here and here. They go here and here. But we very rarely need them. Uh, they just use a plow shower point and it does a uh, does a really good job um, the cost of this machine is not that much and I can't remember like I said it's his machine I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of two grand for farm equipment that's not terribly bad uh, we have used it to put down I think last year we put down 11 miles of plastic mulch with it 
and that's not that uncommon for us to be you know that's 20,000 feet it's not that uncommon for us to be in that neighborhood year after year after year and it's simple like I said there's nothing really to wear out on it uh, everything's thumb screw works great um, really good machine if you're a small vegetable operation looking at doing plastic mulch I can't remember the company I think it's out of Pennsylvania that makes it it has no name no serial number no nothing on it model number but uh, they do a really good job uh, and it's adjustable down to where you can use 36 inch plastic it's set up for 48 uh, we use 48 only but you can slide this in slide everything in and use it for uh, uh, 36 inch plastic which forms a I think 36 inch plastic forms about a 20 inch bed where the 48 forms about a 30 inch bed so uh, but it does a really good job we'll uh, we will uh, be using it again but I wanted to kind of do a little more I've talked about it several times but to just kind of give you an idea what it is uh, the springs are for down pressure on the coulters for you covering coulters um, like I said the pneumatic wheels hold the plastic in place the points up front form the bed shape the bed out but uh, it's a raining on me and uh, it's Friday evening I'm actually getting the new Holland ready to spray tomorrow it's Saturday so that means it's spray day hopefully Monday I will be hooking back to that thing the drum mower and cutting some hay I really need to get first cutting done with it's starting to hurt on me uh, the weather forecast is not all that favorable but we may shoot for it anyhow so uh, anyhow we will uh, it's just kind of a brief on some of the equipment I'm gonna try to do a little bit more on the equipment as we use it a little more in-depth um, to be honest with you right now I'm staying so busy I am just don't have time to just not doing much filming but hey uh, our plan for tomorrow is to I'm gonna spray in the morning spray everything I gotta spray some corn gotta spray some broccoli and corn and broccoli and some cabbage and then if it doesn't rain we're gonna try to transplant about 5,000 more broccoli plants uh, that's the goal for tomorrow we'll see how we get along with that but uh, for everyone that's subscribed to us we thank you uh we appreciate it if you've not please do please consider share with your friends tell them about us uh we hope you learned something hope it's entertaining and uh if it's a video you like please let us know comment do all that good stuff and we will talk to you guys later i'm gonna unhook the uh spring tooth nine tooth field cultivator what you want to call it and hook to that because I got to take it back to my farming partner. He is, uh, that's where the sprayer is at. So I'll take it out there in the morning, drop it off and hook to the sprayer and do my spraying. Hopefully about five o'clock in the morning. So until tomorrow, take care of yourself. We'll talk to you guys later.